good afternoon, church. The family of our fallen brother, friend, and hero, Dr. Chris Kirubi, colleagues from the political wing, captains of industry, diplomats, fellow Kenyans. I stand here to pay tribute to a great man. I knew Chris Kruby way back in 1985. I was having lunch in a restaurant and he was sitting next to me. And we started a conversation and there I learned that him and I went to the same school, Friends School Kamsinga, a giant of many schools in Western Kenya. And he also went to another school in Western Kenya called Kolanya. Thereafter, Chris became a close friend. But as I sat there listening to many tributes, I've realized that I didn't know so much about the length and breadth of the successes, impact of Chris on our country. He goes to his maker as truly a man who left this country better than he found it. He's touched many people. He's touched many institutions. I remember there was a time we were regenerating Kamsinga as a school. And Chris called me and sent me a very generous donation to take to the school. And the school has benefited immensely from that donation. When I was the foreign minister of this country, Chris called me once and said, my friend, I have invested in Ethiopia and I'm having some difficulties that I need to be sorted out. I told him, come to the office in the morning. I go to the office at 6.30 so that we can discuss and see what to do. When I arrived at my office at 6.30, Chris was there waiting for me. He had arrived way ahead of me. That is how studious he was to getting what he wanted to do. We sat in my office. I placed a phone call to the then Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Mele Zenawi, and Meles told me, Moses, if it is somebody that you know well and is having any difficulty with my government, come over with him. The next day, Chris and I were in Addis. We had dinner with the prime minister. And I believe the issues that Harco Industries was encountering in Addis were resolved. That is how practical Chris was. So as we come here today, we learn one lesson, that Kenyans can truly, in working hard, build Kenya. And Kenyans working hard can change the lives of fellow Kenyans. The last issue I want to say about Chris is his friendship with people beyond the borders of our country. Chris was a very close friend, not just as an honorary consular of Ghana, but of the former president of Ghana, John Kufuo, who also happens to be my close friend. Every time I have spoken to Dr. John Kufuo on phone, he has asked me about Chris. He's told me how Chris used to visit him, and you Kenyans may recall when we had election difficulties in 2007, 
208, Dr. John Kufuo was the chairman of the AU. And he came here to bring sanity to the warring sides of our politics. When he was here, he was permanently in company of Chris Kruby. I used to join them at the Intercon for a cup of tea, for a dinner. And you could see the chemistry between the two. And John Kufuo said, if Kenya has one man who has got a knack and an eye for entrepreneurship, it is this man, Chris. And you can imagine that was a president, the chair of AU, but they were on first name terms with Chris. Chris called him John, he called Chris, Chris. That is the camaraderie of our fallen brother that he touched others. Fare thee well, my brother Chris, Andrew, your family, and the entire Chris family, the Musangis, if they're here, those are my brothers from Western. We stand here to say, may the good Lord rest the soul of Chris in eternal peace. That is the journey that we all are going to end up and those who have spoken here, please carry on his legacy, hold the industries he has built, hold the enterprises he has developed so that they can continue building our economy so that this country can move to the next level. Thank you. Uh, next, I will call uh, Honorable Budavadi to come and say a few words. Um, Robert, Marianne, Andrew, 